Hi guys, it's Daxi back with another um, streaming tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get your OBS display or your stream display from looking like this to looking like this. So this is what I this is my display that I threw together last night. Uh, just for the sake of this tutorial, I actually like it, so I might just tweak it a bit. Um, to use permanently, uh, but I'm going to show you how to get this because um, while the main OBS display gets the job done, I mean it's a stream, it's showing your content, it's very boring to look at. Sometimes you want something to spice it up a little bit, so we're going to go ahead and um, dive in to this tutorial. So essentially what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go down to these scenes and sources. Um, boxes over here. You're going to go to scene. You're going to right click. You're going to add. You're going to press add. You name it whatever you want. I usually name mine overlay or main overlay. I'm going to have to name this overlay 2 because as you can see I already have an overlay. Um, you're going to press OK. It goes to a black screen. That's OK. That's normal. The reason it went to a black screen is because you do not have your display capture set. Let me just remove this display capture really quick because it doesn't need to be there. It's because you don't have your display capture. Your display capture is what captures the display. What's It, it captures what's going on on your screen. So we're going to go um, to create a display capture. What you're going to do is you're going to go you're going to be in the over the new one we, but we made, but like I said, it's going to be black, so I'm going to have to do it in the one I already have made so that you can see what I'm doing. You're going to go into the sources section beside that um, scene you've got selected. You're going to right click again, or you can use these arrows, at the, uh, arrows, no, the plus signs at the bottom to add scenes and sources. You're going to press add, and you're going to go to display capture. Now, like I said before, that captures everything on your screen. Um, so you're going to go to display capture, you're going to name it, I'm just going to leave it at display capture 3, you can name it anything you want, I left mine as display capture just because I know what that means, it's, it's the capture of, it's capturing the display, so I, I know what that means, but if you want it to be something like screen 1, uh, say you have 2, 3 monitors, screen 1, screen 2, screen 3, or the works. So you're going to press OK, and make sure the source is visible, if it's not visible, it will not show up. Press OK, and there you go. We have another display capture. So here where it says display, you're going to select what screen you want to use. I only have one screen on my Cintiq, so that's this one right here. Uh, if you have other monitors, they'll show up here. Just choose the one that you want to be displayed. Click OK, and your display capture will show up. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do it in overlay 2 just to uh, show you Okay, there we go. So here is the display capture for in my the new overlay that I've created. Now this is great because like I said, it shows all your content and all that jazz, but it's really boring to look at. So to add an overlay, you're going to want to go to add, and this time we're going to add an image. I'm going to name it image 5. You can name it anything you want, overlay, HUD, fancy jazz, whatever your heart desires. So you're going to press OK. It's going to ask you to find the image, click browse, mine's already here, overlay, open it up, and there you go. And I, have, I had already created my overlay at the size of my display, so it's already fitting. To add music to the music bar here, I use Windows Media Player, um, because I don't have Pandora or Spotify, and I really... I don't know if I'm going to end up getting them because I don't like that on the free versions it just jumps around to any song, even songs I don't like. Um, so I just I just create my own playlist. So to add that, and this this is to add Pandora or Spotify or any of those other music programs, you would do the same steps. You go, you right click, you add, you go to Window Capture. I'm gonna just gonna name it Window Capture. You can name it Music. I already have one named Music that shows up in my other one. You're gonna press OK. You're gonna go here. You're gonna find the one that says Windows Media. So you're gonna go into the Windows. You're gonna go to Windows Media. There it is. You're gonna press OK. 
you're going to drag the window capture behind everything else. Oh, you want it to be in front of the display capture. You're going to want to stretch this out so that it fits actually behind the display capture. Let's just uh, get that going. There we go. Ooh. There you go. There it is. So you have your music bar there now. And then if you notice, we're going to drag this below the window capture. If you notice our window capture right now, or our display capture, it's cut off. It cuts off, it gets cut off by our, our overlay. All you got to do is select it in sources. See this red line? This red box that appears around it? Grab one of these little balls and just scale it down. Scale it to the size that you want. Be, be careful because you might be selecting the overlay. It's really finicky like that. You want to make sure you're always on display capture. And you're just going to scale it down until it fits into oops, into the designated area you have for it. Because I made this little cutout for my display capture to live in. Down a little bit, move it around, and oh, it's a little bit. There you go. Now, when you're scaling, if you haven't already measured out the size of this little box, the cutout, um, it might cut off some of your display capture. If that happens, you can either go into Photoshop, resize it. Or you can cut off parts of your display capture that it doesn't matter if people see them. I usually just go back and resize it just because I'm picky. But that's essentially how you get this to show up. Um, now to make the actual overlay, I use Photoshop. You can use Paint Tool Sci. You can use GIMP. Any program that's going to let you have a transparent, a transparent um, section of it. So you're going to want to go and you're going to want to open up your Photoshop. I have mine already open. Here's my overlay that I made. I like to have my overlay where it's just one big thing, uh, like you see in my OBS. If I, it's all it's all one. But you can also have it where on my old overlay, oh, the display captures. Oh, there we go. Um, each one of these is just an individual piece. You can do it that way. I don't really like it that way, just because it's just so many um, elements that I have to manipulate. Um, when I have them all together already made, it's just a lot easier because it's all there. I don't have to worry about uh, moving things around. They're already in place. It does take a little extra work in, when making it because you've got to measure everything out, but I like it better. So you're going to go into Photoshop and you're want to going to deselect this. Um, like I was saying you want this transparent background that's what these if you never if you've never used Photoshop before this grid in the background it doesn't show up obviously it just means this section is invisible it's not gonna show up so you can put something under it and it'll show through um, now when I made mine I have all the individual parts so here's the, the girls the bars like everything's on its own layer. And then I just composited them all together, made a huge cutout for where I wanted my display capture to show up, made a smaller, longer cutout where I wanted the music bar to show up. This cutout here, you can make transparent if you'd like, because this is usually where you would have your webcam feed, so you would be here. But the way that I draw on my Cintiq, my webcam is on my Cintiq, the webcam points right to my forehead and uh, into the wall behind me. So it doesn't make sense for me to use it because all you're going to be seeing is my forehead, my hair, and then my wall, and then Christmas lights. Um, so I just put my little uh, pixel avatar in there because I think she's cute and it's technically me so it makes sense. And then I put another one down here just because I like the way it looked. Uh, you can do whatever you want. If you want to make the, the webcam box bigger so that's your focal point of your stream, go for it. If you want to make this smaller, if you want a less um, I guess obnoxious overlay. That's up to you. I'm an obnoxious person. I like purple. I like things to be purple and in your face. I want you to look at this and look at me and be like, yeah, Daxi would do that. Um, so that's why my um, overlay is a little bit obnoxious. Over here I have these Facebook um, 
Instagram and Deviant Art icons. I just got them off Google. Just make sure they have the transparent background, or you're gonna have to crop out all the white. And then I just put um, the URLs essentially to those platforms. So if anyone's on their phone and they think, hey, you know what, this is some quality content. I'm gonna follow them on Facebook or Instagram or whatever other social media you have. This here is, um, I made this here to put the chat box, but then I decided that I didn't want a chat on my stream, since if you're watching the stream, you're going to see it anyway. Um, especially since I personally won't be watching the stream, I'm going to be in Photoshop, so it doesn't make sense for me to have this chat box open when I would just have it open on my phone to see the chats. Um, but if that's something that you guys want on your stream, you would just make this box transparent um, and then stick, do a window capture, select the Picarto or the Twitch chat box, and just scale it down in there so that it shows up on your stream. So then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, after you've finished creating this, you're going to want to save as, and you're going to want to save it as a PNG because the PNG supports on Photoshop anyways. I'm not sure about the other programs because I don't use them, but on Photoshop, PNG supports that transparent background. If you save it as a JPEG, Everywhere where you see this grid where it's supposed to be transparent, it's going to be auto-filled with white or black depending on your Photoshop settings. So you're going to want to save it as a PNG. TIFFs support transparent backgrounds, I believe, but I'm not sure if OBS will open a TIFF. So we'll just stick with PNG because that is what I know for sure works. Um, when you're making your canvas for Photoshop, uh, as you can see, It'll, you'll be going to file new and I'm just going to show you how to do this. You want to make sure that your overlay, the canvas that you're making your overlay on is set to the size of your display. So if you're on a computer that or a monitor that's display is 1920 by 1080, you're going to want to make this canvas 1920 by 1080. Did I not click it or like what's happening here? Oh no, I clicked it. It's just being slow. You're going to want to make sure that the canvas size is the size of your display so that when you scale it up or down, you don't lose any quality. Oh, so I guess Photoshop doesn't want to open a new document. That's fine. Oh, here we go. Taking its sweet time. But, oh, let's go to image, image canvas size. That's faster. So it says centimeters, but usually it's in pixels. So. Well, it's too late for that. I don't want you anymore. Um, <laughs> width, 2560. Height, 1440. That is the size of my display. So, you want to make yours the size of your display or bigger. If you make it too big, you can always scale it down and you're not going to have a problem losing quality. If you make it too small and try to scale it up, you're going to lose quality and your stream is overlay is going to look pixelated because the resolution is bad. So I made this on 250 um, or <laughs> 2560 by 1440 resolution, um, and I think I have it set to 50 pixels, 50 or 75 pixels per per um, per is it inch? Well, the resolution of the canvas is uh, it's 50 or 75 just because it's for web. Um, we're not printing it out, so I didn't need the resolution to be so big, especially since I, pixels per inch, I think it is, especially since, um, I'm working at such a huge canvas size that was really just going to bog down my, uh, my machine. And I didn't need to do that for no reason. There was no reason to do it because we're not printing this out, but that's essentially how you do it. And then again, after you're done creating this, you just go into OBS and you do everything I told you to do. And then you have your overlay. Overlay 2. Oh, where's my display cat? There we go. This is the one that we just made here on the stream. And that's how it looks. And if you want to move stuff around, you can. Uh, I have two overlays. I have this one um, is the first one that I had where you can move everything around. This is it's the same thing. You just make the files on a transparent background and then you add them in with the image capture if this is how you want it to be. But I also have my BRB overlay, which is essentially what I would switch to if I was taking a break. I wanted to go get food 
food, go to the bathroom, answer the door, just stick, slap one of these on your stream so that if somebody's just coming in, uh, just during your stream, they know that you're coming back. You didn't just abandon the stream or it's not just a blank screen or um, a, a Photoshop document that's been used but no one's in, on the stream. You know what I mean? It's nice to let your uh, viewers know exactly what's going on, especially since um, if they're coming in new, they're going to think, oh, this is a dead stream, uh, next stream, if uh, you're trying to bring in new viewers. And then this is my main overlay. So that's essentially how you do it. If you have any questions, just let me know. Um, anything you think you need clarification on, I am more than willing to help you. Um, that's all I wanted to show you today. If I come up with anything else I want to show you, I'm just going to make another video. And um, hope you enjoyed this.